Let's take a close look at the hierarchy of building blocks and organization within QLab. As I mentioned earlier, queues are the basic building blocks used to play media files, modify other queues, or accomplish an organizational or control function within your queue list. Each queue performs one specific task and appears in its own row of the current queue list window, which is considered the central work area within QLab. Q1301 provides you with an example of a basic audio queue, and Q1302 is a fade queue that fades out Q1301. Note that Q1301 is looped indefinitely, so it will keep on playing until Q1302 fades it out and stops playback. Loops will be discussed in much more detail in a later tutorial. Q sequences are the next level of building blocks, and it's the name given to the situation that I previously described in which a number of QLab queues are programmed to automatically fire in a specific order given a single trigger input. Conceptually, a queue sequence is like a series of dominoes. Knocking over the first domino will cause all of the dominoes to fall until a gap between dominoes is reached. Q1303 illustrates this point with a simple eight measure drum beat. As you play Q1303, Watch the last four columns of the current queue list to see each queue play and then trigger the next queue. Q1304 is another example of a queue sequence. However, this queue sequence essentially has no gaps between the dominoes, which results in a number of audio cues that play back simultaneously to create the music mix for the QLab introduction video. Also in this sequence is a video queue which plays back the video along with the music. We'll discuss the specific methods used to program queue sequences a bit later in the series. The next level of organization is the queue list. Basically, a queue list is simply an ordered collection of queues and queue sequences. Oftentimes, a show will simply require one queue list that contains all of the queues for that show in the order that they need to be triggered. As mentioned earlier, the queue lab demonstrations for each tutorial are organized into separate queue lists, so you should currently be looking at the content of queue list 1-3. Two important components of navigating the current queue list are the playback position and the selected queue. The playback position is the black teardrop icon located in the far left column of the current queue list. It indicates which queue will be fired when the next go trigger is received. The selected queue is represented graphically by the queue's entire row becoming highlighted, and it indicates the queue for which parameters are being adjusted. Usually, the playback position will be the same as the selected queue, although it's possible to make them independent of one another, which can be useful for editing queues without interrupting the flow of a rehearsal. The final level of organization in QLab is the workspace. Workspace is the name given to each QLab document. A workspace is a collection of queue lists, or simply one queue list if that's all your show requires. The workspace is also the term used to describe the user interface window and its seven panels, which we'll discuss in detail in the next tutorial.